Hi, welcome back to Bike Forever. So uh, this video today is based around this single board computer called the Z80 MBC. So this is a relatively new uh, creation by, I think, a person that publishes under a name called Just For Fun. And it's a really cool website, I'll show a bit of it there, if anyone wants to look it up. It's the Z80 MBC2. Uh, you can actually get all this this sort of PCB layouts and everything's on GitHub. So in theory, you could uh, order a, a PCB, order the bill of materials and uh, build it yourself. But uh, seeing as my soldering is not up to much, <laughs> I uh, just picked this up on eBay, fully assembled. And I'm sure you can build, you can buy it as a kit as well, uh, from various places. Uh, so yeah, it's based around the Z80 CPU there. So it's got a genuine Z80 CPU. The date code on that is um, 23rd week of 2007. Um, so I believe that is some SRAM, and there's also an Atmel microcontroller on there which handles a lot of the IO. Uh, you've got some GPIO pins there that you can use. Uh, you've got a, a serial interface as well um, and a few LEDs which are quite bright. <laughs> An SD card reader which plugs in there and an RTC real-time clock with a little battery on it, which is quite cool. They're sort of uh, modules you just plug in. Um, I'll put a link in the description to where I got it on eBay. And so what I've been doing is exploring the software that came on the SD card. It's not that one, that's the one they're on putty from. So essentially you, you connect to this by a USB uh, dongle which also came in the kit that I bought um, so I'm connecting to a fairly ancient laptop there the Core i3 but it seems to work pretty well now I've got rid of Windows and put Linux on and so I've got a putty terminal as I say uh, on that so what I'll do I'll just press the reset button just show it booting up so it's, it's running CPM3, as you can see there. So it doesn't take long to boot up. So CPM, it, I think it stands for Control Monitor, Control Process slash Monitor, I believe is the exact thing. So the SD card, all the drives that are in there come through, there's like sort of .dsk files, like disk files. So you've got A drive, which is kind of the, the drive it boots off. You've got um, built into the, the kit that I got or the, the distribution, if you like, that came with it. B drive has got a Turbo Pascal compiler and editor. Uh, so we can do stuff like so if you do Turbo, that'll load Turbo Pascal. Uh, version 3 so not also press n to not uh, show error messages so for this to run uh, to edit a file sorry you'd uh, press w for the work file and i happen to have just created a hello world and so it's called hello.pass so that loads the work file so if you notice this is all quite old-fashioned way of doing thing with dos um it is it still works though, um, so you press E to edit, and that brings up the editor, so you've got a, it's like a screen editor. In fact, this is the best editor I've come across, by the way, on uh, in CPM. Some people are saying use uh, Ed, which is really just a line editor, so you can't see the full uh, file. It's also a file called VDE, which I tried, but it came through with garbage. There was all kinds of... Um, control codes flying past probably had the wrong uh, terminal set up somewhere in the config 
So to click from the editor, you press Ctrl K D. And then if you want to run it, just press R. And there you go, it compiled it. And it's quite a small program, obviously, and then it runs it. So you got Hello World there in Turbo Pascal on C drive. Whoops, sorry, after still in Turbo Pascal, so for Q to exit that. C drive. So on CPM, if anyone uh, is aware of it, so the, to change a drive, you do C colon or whatever drive name and then colon, and that gets you to the other drive. DIR lists of files on the drive. So it appears that I think CPM is just a flat directory structure, there's no subdirectories, so everything's just a drive. Um, which is a bit difficult to get used to when you're used to like Linux or Windows or MS DOS, but nonetheless, uh, that's the way it is. So on the C drive, there's actually a C compiler. Uh, there's a command called type, which you can just view a file. So I created a hello world C program a bit earlier. So the type will just display the file contents. So for C compiler, this one that I've got here that came with this kit, if you just do uh, C and you can you can omit the dot com but command so it's a whoops so if you <laughs> the other thing I've noticed is that the delete key doesn't work, it just keeps repeating. You have to do shift D in putty, so anyway. Um, C.com is a C compiler, so um, brings up that there, whoops, nearly dropped the camera, <laughs> and uh, to compile a file you just put the file name in, so I've got hello.c, and oops, I've done a comma there which is uh, wrong, probably going to complain about that, the file doesn't exist, yep. <laughs> So uh, hello, whoa, I've done it again. So I'm trying to hold the camera and, oh, okay, sorry. So it dropped out of the compiler then, so go c.com. You don't actually have to put the, the .com. You can just put c. And then we're in the compiler, so if now I just type hello. Dot C, no, I've done it again, put the comma, hello dot C. It's actually take quite a while to uh, build that, or compile that, but the lights on there are flashing like uh, Bilio. Um, like the red uh, LED on top left, that's the, the SD card access. Um, I, think, I believe that says DMA. I'm um, not sure what, I think the other one's I.O. Op. Uh, anyway, so that's still compiling. <laughs> uh, and eventually, did, I think it took at least a couple of minutes. And she'll come through. Okay, so I, I paused the recording there. Uh, it did take at least uh, two minutes, uh, but it's it's compiled it and it dropped out there to the command prompts again. So if we just type hello, there you go, print hello world. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's a few other uh, drives on there. There's, I think there's one with uh, some games on it. D, I'm not sure if it is D that's got the games on. Um, as I say, I've not really explored the whole thing. I don't think that was games. E drive. I believe there's a game called Zork, but I've not really played that. Um, so I don't think I'll demo it. Oh, this is, uh, what is that, Word Star or something? Came with it. Uh, F. Let's have a look at F. Where's Okay, that's got the Zork game on there. A few different versions by the look of it. Um, 
yeah, so uh, it's just a, a video there. I think I'll call it a day on that. I've showed a few of the features, showed editing files and compiling into a Pascal and C, which is quite cool on this uh, Z80 MBC. So I'll put links in the description to a place where I got this on eBay. And it's uh, definitely worth trying out if you have that way inclined uh, from a historical point of view but learning about these old uh, operating systems yeah so that's it thanks for watching and bye for now